In this tutorial I blend two images together for a web page uh, banner. So I go to uh, open my recent image which uh, is this one here. And now I go to the other image and open as a layer. Now I've got them in a special folder so that they're, uh, I can find them nice and easy. Now that becomes the top, top one at the top. I need to crop the image so it, it'll make it a uh, like a panorama effect and I can get the blend. That's the crop tool there. Once you click on that, it will uh, select the, the crop tool and the options. Now you've got over here, you can crop the current layer, which, which is the top one, or you can leave it as a default, unchecked, and when you crop it, it will crop the layer below as well, to the same size, which is exactly what I want. I'll just move it down to about that size. I don't want the top of that building in there because it, the, uh, it's too dark. I'll go to the centre and click. Now you notice now it's cropped the top layer as well. Now I need to blend these two together. Now because they're so wide, I need a uh, another another uh, window or canvas. I need another canvas. So that's what they call it. So you go to image and you click on canvas size. That brings up this little uh, dialogue effect and in here you can see the image and that's laying on the current canvas. The links are linked now I just click the tumbler and it resizes the the canvas or the the background and now you can see the background it's about right you can see now I've loaded the um, the image onto a larger canvas it hasn't changed the image size at all it's made a bigger background canvas so I'll click on resize and there it is there I've made that now I need to uh, decrease the size of the image so I can see what I'm working with just a bit more that's about it I'll use the uh, plus and minus key on the keyboard then and <coughs> go to your move tool and the boat is the one below so I click on the boat and I make sure I've got that little one there the radio button check so I move the current layer selected layer and I just move the boat into view I'll leave a little bit of a border around there now I go to the top one the move tool still selected and I bring it down and line it up with the other one now I'm just giving a bit of border around the edges okay we've got that now the top one I've got it now I've got my uh, layout I need now I go to layers and add a layer mask Add a layer mask now it defaults to the white full opacity I click add now it's blended it's over there now I'll go to my blend tool now the blend tool is what I want which is the foreground is black and the the uh, background is white and it gives you the blend there it checks it chooses that blend you've got up the top there but I need to uh, just to drag the blend across you just only go part way across you don't go across the full image just blend a bit and you can see now the boat coming into view uh, it's just not enough blend there I'll go out a bit further a bit further still and there we've got our boat it's, it's coming into view okay now we've got this uh, border there we need to tidy that up so you go to the top layer right click the top layer and layer to image size and that brings it down to there now we've still got our uh, Back, uh, we've still got our mask in the image it's taken away that border, heavy border I'll increase the size using the uh, plus key on the keyboard and you can see some of the the harshness of the, of the blend there so I go to my paintbrush tool choose a fuzzy brush move the opacity down to about 50% just about 50% is good enough for this one and the uh, the fade out make sure you've got that box checked there now all you do now is just paint in there and and just a 50 percent take it down a bit more and just take that harshness away of the blend just a little bit there that's brought that's brought it in and it's brought the, the two images together a lot better that person there I can bring him in back into view because uh, he looks a bit odd there a bit ghosty so there we go, and we brought that all into view. And the boat's into view. Just tidy it up, bring the boat into stronger because we're painting on that mask. 
Okay, now we've got that far, I right click the top layer and merge down. That brings the two of them together and also brings the, uh, the layer mask into view. I need to go now to resize, resize the uh, background layer so I can see what I'm doing or the image. Now I'll go to my rectangular select tool and select around the, the panorama image. Now I go to edit and I ask it to stroke. I'm going to stroke it with the brush or the stroke line which will be the black. I need to decrease that to about 2 and it should be about right. Click OK and let's put a, uh, a border around there. Now the selection is still made so I'll just move it up a little bit and I'll move it down a little bit. Now I'll move it across a little. That's made it a bit bigger and just a bit more there. Now I'm going to make round corners on this one so I'll click on the round corners and now I've got my slider and I'll just make the corners just a little bit round. Okay we've got that one. Now I go over to my patterns dialog and I choose a pattern here. This one, the one beside it has it like a panelling so it's, it's not suitable for this. Now I go to my bucket fill tool and I ask it to fill with the pattern. Let's click that radio button there and just fill in there around there with the, with the pattern. Okay, it's not real clear on the end there but I should have made my canvas a bit bigger but that's you get the general idea. Now I go to select and I grow that by a couple of pixels. Three pixels, okay. Now I go to my edit tool again, stroke with the brush. Now it's still picked on two and stroke and let's give it the black border. Go to select and select none. And there's our job completed. I'll just increase the size of that so you can see the, the finished job. I'll hit the tab key and there it is, it takes it away. Now it's given me the panorama effect and the blended image. Now all you need to do now is to save it as a J, uh, not a JPEG file. It needs to be renamed blend BLEND and change the the uh, extension to a PNG which is Portable Networks Graphics otherwise you won't save the uh, the background layer which is the transparency. Click on save and uh, it's already found one there so I'll replace it just for this exercise and that's it and we save now that's saved the image. I just hit the tab key then to bring everything back into into view. So the tutorial, this uh, banner was made for a web page. So some people asked me to make a web page for a um, for their group and to show some of the outings they do when I blended it into a banner. So thank you for watching and rate the video.